back to the channel and in today's video we're going to be talking all things gut health i'm going to be walking you through what i eat in my day that kind of helps my gut some things that i took out that i put back in things that i was misled by the internet and also the supplements that i take as well as just other things that have drastically changed my gut health if you don't have a proper functioning gut and microbiome you are not going to feel good to do anything let alone go lifting weight or working out so definitely recommend working on your overall health before trying to look a certain way because you guys Listen. Aesthetics are not everything and I learned that the hard way of five years of an eating disorder and it messing up my stomach So I suffered two years later and it's just not worth it So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through what we're eating today and let's get started with breakfast because it is literally It is 10 45 and I am not a late eater a lot of people do intermittent fasting. I don't know you We can't be friends. I wake up and I run to the kitchen I'm gonna go ahead and get started with eating and show you guys what we're eating we're gonna go ahead and start off with the supplements that I take and literally one of these has completely changed my life within two days of taking it I seen such a big difference in my gut so I highly 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 recommend you going and buying this right now if you have better health a Whole Foods any supplement shop near you Run. you need this one okay so we're gonna start off with this one this is the garden of life Primal Defense Ultra. I actually heard of this from a couple YouTubers I kid you not this changed my gut within two days uh TMI if you can't poop you're gonna poop and it just makes your gut feel good literally all day I'm not bloated I can eat whatever I want I know some people have intolerances I personally do not have intolerances to anything I'm slightly intolerant to dairy but I can deal with it and that's something we're gonna talk about in just a moment but this run go grab it if you're having any digestive issues you will see a difference within two days to a week and I promise you it is worth every penny it's typically around like 30 to 35 dollars which is a little pricey but you guys invest in your health it's so worth it especially with little things like this spend money on this instead of things that you don't really need such as supplements that are kind of over franchised like bcaa's invest in something like this instead just saying the next supplement that i have been taking um i don't take this every day but i try to and i did notice a difference in it especially with using the restroom but it's just the chlorophyll it's a little dirty guys so excuse me but about a tablespoon in my water and like a big large water and i drink it throughout the day like i said i probably do this like once or twice a week if that uh in the beginning i was doing it every single day religiously and then i found my probiotics and i just kind of like fell in love so yeah and then another thing you guys this is crucial if you're having stomach problems because i did not know this until now actually until like three months ago when i started taking it and my stomach the way i felt <gasps> So different so um if you are anemic and you guys go get blood work done i am not a doctor hey guys so i was editing this video and i realized that i didn't put a proper disclaimer at the beginning of the video and i wanted to go ahead and just jump on here and do that really quick i'm not a physician a healthcare provider or anybody that is going to give you proper advice you should go reach out to a doctor or somebody in that field that can give you a proper diagnostic or tell you what you should be taking so yeah i'm just gonna leave that disclaimer in the very beginning of this video so you'll probably see me in a second go get your blood work checked and see what you are deficient in if you aren't deficient in anything you're good maybe you could just take probiotics but some people are deficient in iron i was always deficient i've always been anemic my whole entire life mom thanks i actually started taking this gentle iron i know some people might actually need to go get capsules from the doctor this is not that strong of a dose it's only 28 milligrams of iron which isn't that much but i eat a really healthy diet and my iron isn't extremely deficient when i had eating disorder it was to the point where the doctor literally told me you either take iron pills or you die because it is your red blood cells and you can't function properly when your blood is not circulating in your body right i mean blood goes to your heart and brain and it helps you function um i highly recommend looking into a specialist or a doctor getting your blood drawn but if you are suffering with certain things iron for me was like huge i was suffering with hair loss always cold i never felt good and i started taking iron pills and i just feel like a different person and we'll go ahead and get started with breakfast
as you just saw, I made my matcha tea. And this is also something that has completely changed my digestive system. This, instead of coffee, is amazing. I know coffee is a natural diuretic, but matcha tea is so much easier on your stomach. I noticed a big difference. I have been coffee free for about three months now. And I am in shock as to how my body feels being off coffee. I was getting such bad red eyes. Um, and this is something that's so weird to me, but my eyes were always bloodshot red. And I was using those Lumify drops to make them white so I look like a normal human. I noticed that I just looked like I was smoking pot all day and my eyes were always bloodshot red. I would always have these crashes. So I would have, I would, and I wasn't overdoing caffeine either. I would probably have one coffee in the morning and one around like 12, one o'clock to get me going. I would crash so bad. I'd never felt good. I would have to go to the gym and take a pre-workout supplement even though I was on two coffees for that day. So I cut coffee out and I didn't know that it was going to actually do anything. I started researching matcha. I wanted something closer to coffee, something that I actually would wake up to in the morning because coffee kind of is a ritual where you I literally could never say that word ritual I love the taste of matcha it's an acquired taste you do have to get used to it but once you get used to it I like it more than coffee now and I feel amazing my eyes so wet. I don't need to use Lumify I don't need to use anything I feel great and I have so much more energy throughout the day it's more of a sustained energy versus like a high and then a crash but I've never experienced that with coffee so if you're going through the same thing I went through maybe kind of hold back on coffee and try matcha instead it also helped me with my digestive system, which is so weird because I started taking the probiotic the same time I started taking matcha, so it couldn't have an effect, but one day I had coffee and I noticed a huge difference in my stomach. So it could be the two of them together, which is doing the job. So try matcha, cut your coffee, because I'm telling you guys, so much better. Now breakfast. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my favorite banana protein pancakes. We're gonna be needing vegan or whey protein, oatmeal, egg whites, cinnamon, banana, vanilla extract, and baking powder. We're first gonna start off with half a cup of oatmeal, half of a banana. You could save the rest for tomorrow over another recipe. About two teaspoons to one tablespoon of vanilla, two teaspoons of baking powder, one fourth a cup of egg whites, cinnamon to taste, Shake it on up and put it on the blender for about one minute. Once it's all blended up, you're gonna be left with a slim, thick consistency, just the way we like her. Add some bloops in there, take a skillet, add some coconut oil spray on there and set the temperature for a medium low heat. They should take about two minutes on each side. Once you're done, you're gonna be left with these beautiful golden brown pancakes i like to add peanut butter on top of mine sugar-free syrup and my favorite sugar-free ready whip yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed these gonna be one of my next tips not cutting out too much as you can see in my last clip when i was actually making this breakfast i was using whey protein and something i used to be so afraid of was whey protein or saying it breaks you out and i was suffering with cystic acne even though i ate it in the beginning and it never affected me i know for some people it does have a huge effect on them especially if you are severely dairy intolerant you might want to just exit out of your diet but i was cutting out things in my diet that i didn't need to so a perfect example would be whey protein i actually used it to make my protein pancakes and for me I have a hard time digesting vegan proteins, which was something I was so confused about. But soy products and anything vegan, they tend to have a higher fiber content. And my body does not do well with a high fiber diet. I can get away with the 25 recommended daily grams of fiber. But if I'm going over 25 grams, my stomach literally feels like it's going to die. So really, you need to just listen to your body. Don't just cut things out because people are telling you to. Actually, listen to what your body is telling you and cut out what you need to. That's why I no longer cut out whey protein. I love whey protein. It helps me reach my protein goals. I will be leaving this recipe down below. It came out so ugly today, but you guys, I swear to God, these are such good pancakes. They're not dry from the protein powder. And I don't know if somebody came up with this recipe before. Maybe. I mean, a lot of people are on Threlm and everybody kind of just copies everybody. I didn't copy these. I literally have always baked. So I just kind of put a bunch of ingredients together and it turned out good. So um, I put the recipe below exactly how I made them. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. 
Another thing that has to do with gut health would have to be stress. I'm sure you guys have heard of it time and time again, but stress does have such a big effect on your stomach. And I'm gonna share some tips of what has helped me and what I have been doing to reduce the stress in my life, reading. The reason why I say reading is because I just personally get away reading a book, but you can do that in the form of taking an art class or just pulling out your own paper, writing and journaling. Everybody has a way to escape from the world instead of just scrolling through your phone, going through Instagram, because as much as you might think it's helping you it is actually destroying you and i never understood that until the last couple of months when i took a huge change in my life and i wanted to transform it so i started waking up i journaled i wanted to understand my emotions and how i feel as a person and i also started reading instead of going on my phone so i use the internet for my work i use the internet to connect with other people but i no longer use it to scroll and just be on my phone all day be in a rut get in this vicious cycle of feeling bad about myself it really does mess with your mind so i highly recommend de-stressing whether that's going on a walk reading going to the gym do something for yourself mentally versus jumping to things that are going to give you temporary happiness such as going shopping and buying things temporarily you're gonna get this instant hit of dopamine, but it's not gonna last for long. And then you're gonna be stuck scrolling through your phone again, going through depression. I noticed such a big difference in my gut health when I was doing that. Find something that makes you happy. Find something that interests you. You're gonna wake up every morning and so excited to start your day. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place we're heading to the gym. I didn't eat lunch yet. It is 1.30. I typically never wait this long to eat lunch because I do feel very hungry and I don't really get a good workout in. But I also had a very late breakfast at like around 11 o'clock. So I'm not hungry and my breakfast is full of protein, carbs, and fats. So I am not hungry yet. So I'm just going to go to the gym, get my workout in, and then come back and eat lunch and that's the beauty of intuitive eating i listen to my body and honestly intuitive eating has drastically helped my gut because i'm no longer forcing food i'm working with my body not working it against it and my stomach has more time to digest versus eating every two hours because protein synthesis and losing muscle and it's not like that our bodies are smarter than you think so i just eat whenever i get hungry and right now i'm not hungry so i will see you guys when it's lunch time and we'll go from there Just saw I made lunch and I eat big guys. I mean, you kind of need to listen to your body to eat. So what I typically have been doing is instead of having a bunch of small snacks, I've noticed what's been helping my digestive system is having bigger meals. So for example, I have a huge wrap right here as well as a soup that I made yesterday, which has corn, celery, carrots, tomatoes, and it's just really good. And it's good for you. It helps your stomach and it helps your chest. And then it's a bigger meal, which is going to keep me full for hours. If I get hungry or if I get like a sweet tooth, I'll go ahead and indulge in a little bit of chocolate here and there. So uh, I hope these actually give you some meal ideas because you guys, this Joseph wrap is amazing. You guys need to get on it, especially this egg sandwich. The cheese melts while the eggs are on it. And it tastes, it kind of reminds me of the uh, Supreme Crunch Wrap from Taco Bell. I actually made it the other day. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys recipe ideas in probably another video. I do like a Supreme Crunch Wrap at home using this wrap. And Chef's kiss. It is amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and eat and I will catch you at dinner time or whatever I eat next. I just wanted to go ahead and pop in and, and give you guys extra information that help you prevent having gut health issues or even help out if you are currently struggling with any gut issues. So I'm not a doctor. I've already stated this before and I'm not going to go into a long disclaimer. When it comes to gut health, first and foremost to prevent it would be stop stressing about diet. I think a lot of us do stress about diet more than we're supposed to. We have two extremes. Either one of us is eating extreme amounts of junk food and processed foods and then you have the other extreme that is like a full clean food freak no eating anything processed everything has to be natural and wholesome white potatoes are bad white rice is bad only brown only sweet potatoes and that is actually far from the truth and both ends are not good and that's why i practice the 80 20 rule 80 percent of my diet is clean 
wholesome foods and 20% is whatever I want everything in moderation I feel the best that way and like I said earlier about the whey protein you don't have to cut things out of your diet if you don't need to and that's another huge thing is people cut out things in their diets because they're being told to so for example gluten-free or dairy-free there are so many people that are cutting out these food groups out of their diet because they see social media people or influencers saying that gluten is not good and they cut it out of their diet and they feel so much better and honestly gluten-free products have a lot more additives in them than, than items that aren't gluten-free items that are also not gluten-free have a lot of benefits in them so don't just cut something out of your diet because somebody says that and dairy for example has a lot of calcium you don't need to cut dairy out because a vegan police came to you and told you that dairy is going to literally put you in the hospital that's not true guys you guys need to actually look more into it and just understand what you guys are doing before you do it so in order to prevent it don't go on extreme diets a huge one for me was binge eating when you are binge eating you are expanding your stomach and then it's shrinking down and then I suffered with bulimia because of my binge eating so my stomach my body was just shot for so many years I was I had a five-year eating disorder so that really affected my stomach I will say preventative things would just be avoiding drastic diets take an intolerance test to see what you are intolerant to you can be intolerant to dairy you can be intolerant to gluten and if you are then you can just omit those out of your diet and supplement them with something else which is completely fine a couple things i can tell you if you are struggling with digestive issues bloating i know for me personally bloating was a huge thing i literally looked like i was nine months pregnant eight to ten hours of the day and i only had like two to three hours of mental clarity physical clarity and it was right in the morning because i had absolutely nothing in my body if you are struggling with that i definitely recommend first and foremost have to be getting a probiotic not any probiotic that you see in the market i've had probiotics and honestly they gave me the worst possible stomach issues remember there was one it said like a woman's relief I'll put a picture of it right here but it was like a targeted relief for women and it broke me out in cystic acne the second I omitted it out of my diet or I stopped taking that supplement completely my acne went away and my stomach felt better so there are some probiotics aren't the end all meets all it's not gonna be good for you and not beneficial do your research the one I'm gonna up on the screen I also shared in the morning is going to have to be the the garden of life ultra probiotic this one within two days was a huge difference I've used the bathroom every single day and if you have stomach issues, you know how that feels You can either be the person that is suffering with TMI diarrhea or you're suffering with not being able to use the restroom at all And it is just too hard for you to use the restroom and I was actually the person that Felt like there was concrete in the bottom of my stomach and it hurt it ate and I couldn't use the restroom for three to four days at a time and when I did use the restroom this is really gross, but there was hardly anything. All that stuff is backed up in you and that was making me feel sick, nauseous, bloated. I lost all my desire for life. I didn't want to work out. I didn't want to do anything. Second tip would be actually eating probiotic rich foods such as kefir, kimchi. I personally don't like kimchi. I know a lot of people are like, oh, kimchi so good. I'm just like, girl, how? <laughs> we have different taste buds. I personally enjoy. I don't enjoy it, but I put it in meals and I really can't taste it. Which is going to be sauerkraut. Notice adding that in my diet has helped so much with my digestive stuff. There are other things such as kombucha i don't drink kombucha that much i probably drink it once or twice a month if you want benefits you should probably drink it more consistently but i already have my probiotic i do drink kefir um or kefir or whatever it's called i'll put it in a smoothie at the end of my workout if i actually do have a smoothie that i always include kefir into my smoothies i don't taste it if anything it makes the smoothie just a little bit more rich and i do see a big difference when i'm taking that then another rich food is something a lot of people can't tolerate i've noticed i have an issue eating this which is greek yogurt or any kind of yogurt i know they are probiotic rich but i personally notice that i start getting acid reflux when i have uh, greek yogurt and that is the beauty of listening to your body. I can eat kefir, which is a dairy product, but when I'm having Greek yogurt, my body just doesn't like it and it rejects it. I do get a little bit of like a knot in my stomach and it's not severe as how it used to be. I no longer try to eat Greek yogurt from time to time. I'll put it in some recipes, but it doesn't affect me that way. It only affects me if I'm having like a solid Greek yogurt bowl or those little like Greek yogurt. Keep trying it here and there. There's some great probiotic rich foods and the next thing is going to be prebiotic rich foods such as your greens, your leafy vegetables, your fruits, things that have fiber, things that are going to bulk up your stool, things that help you digest a little faster and push everything down. Try to have fruits and veggies in your diet that your stomach can tolerate. I know when I was going through my whole huge mama pregnancy belly phase, I would take out FODMAP foods things such as broccoli and onions. Um, I still do have a problem eating red onions. So if I go to like Chipotle and I have their guacamole, 
I can't eat their guacamole. <laughs> it's like, like, I don't know what it is. It literally hurts me. I just, you know, I, I try to like, I take one for the team when I go. The team is me and me because I love Chipotle. When you are going through that phase of having digestive issues, try to avoid things that, first of all, get a notebook, start writing down what's affecting your stomach. So every time you have something, try to see like, okay, I had broccoli for this meal. Maybe the broccoli is giving my digestive issues. Listen to your body, guys. Like, I'm not gonna keep saying that. Another thing, drink a lot of water, guys. I didn't really show it in today's day, but I try to drink at least eight to 12 water bottles depending on the day. My mom thinks I'm crazy. She literally always tells me, what is wrong with you? You are a fish. How are you drinking eight to 12? bottles of water i would be in the bathroom all day and i'm like yes i am i'm in the bathroom all day <laughs> i literally pee every five seconds but over time your bladder just like everything else in life will adjust so now in the beginning i was peeing every five minutes now i'm peeing every three to four hours drinking that much water and it will be good your bladder will expand you're good honey going into that is drinking hot beverages i already talked to you guys about the soup drinking and eating foods that are warm is so much better for you than drinking or eating cold food it's gonna help you digest and it's gonna soothe your belly so much better so if you are suffering with that try to have more soups over salads and try to have teas and maybe even hot chocolate i do have a hot chocolate a healthy hot chocolate recipe i'll pop it up on the screen right now I have a hot chocolate every night. I try to drink lukewarm waters. I notice when I'm drinking a lot of cold beverages, my stomach starts getting a little bit of sharp pain. Try to avoid a lot of cold beverages. With your stress levels, I know we already talked about that. Into that would have to be your actual workouts themselves. So I noticed when I was doing very strenuous workouts every single day of the week, or even five to six times a week, I noticed that I was also suffering with hormonal acne and extreme digestive issues where I felt bloated all the time. And you guys have to understand that working out is a stressor. So if you guys are overdoing it, you are going to get stressed out and your body's not gonna react so try to come up with a workout program that actually helps you reduce stress versus just adding on the stress try to maybe do some active yoga and stretching foam rolling throughout the week as well include it in between your high stress leveled workouts figure out your body listen to your body and i promise you your digestive system in no time will recover and if you guys do need extra help i definitely recommend going and seeing a doctor for it get some blood results see what's going on in your body see what you're lacking because if you're lacking nutrients you're lacking vitamins you're lacking essential things that you need for your body your body is not going to work with you it's going to work against you so take those tips with a grain of salt consult with a doctor and try out that probiotic i promise you you're going to feel better so yeah uh, i will go ahead and see you guys at dinner time you i've been trying hard to keep my cool but when you need there's nothing that i can do when you're walking in i know it's true I, it doesn't even matter how hard I try Cause when I hear your voice my walls come down Boy you are the only thing I want went ahead and went on a 25 minute walk just to really digest food that I had previously eaten and now we have a chipotle bowl which is a very balanced meal and that's another tip for digestion is you really want to have a balanced profile especially with fats fats are really going to help you digest your food carbohydrates typically and primarily are going to be things such as rice beans veggies things that have fiber that are going to help you digest as well and then your protein is just going to keep you satisfied so i personally like to have a balanced meal that helps me with digestion are eating out i typically always ask for the sides on the side i told you guys earlier about the avocado and the guacamole there how it kind of hurts and upsets my stomach so i like to personally pick and choose how much i'm putting on because it does have red onions and that's gonna help me alleviate the pain from the red onions versus having the whole freaking thing which will kill me at night so yeah i probably have like that much out of that uh, maybe even less like that much and then the rest of this i'll literally save it and my husband will eat it tomorrow we have a lettuce bowl with rice pinto beans i don't know why black beans hurt my stomach more than pinto Pinto doesn't really bother me but black beans i don't even mess with them anymore i have sofritas and white rice guacamole tomatoes the mild salsa so this is going to be dinner for tonight she's a beauty i would do anything just to get you back again i would do anything at all no, I'm not innocent. You deserve a better man. But let me just hold your hand once more. Ooh, 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 ooh. I wanna take you out. Ooh, 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 ooh. Show you what I'm all about. Ooh, 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 ooh. Make up for what we lost. Tonight is the night that we're gonna fall in love. I don't care about you and him. I don't care about what has been. I only care about your soft skin. Cause we're still sleeping in my head.